Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beta plan, playing Ottoman Turks. And it has happened, my dear folks. My confidence is a mountain, my charm is irresistible, my exploits are legendary. I am taking temptation incarnate. Yes, we have seduced yet another niece. Now, not only this niece is our lover, um, which for some reason doesn't stand anymore in this little pop-up. Probably have to increase it, but now this niece is also our lover, and we can choose either to become the master seducer, which has the uh, chance, more or less, at least it was so, perhaps it doesn't change in updates, that you can always do a master seduction move. It would be irresistible. Girls could not stand you, they would bet you whatever you do, and it almost always results in a baby. But I could also become a hedonist. Mm, this is more diplomacy, but no, I think Master Deuce is quite alright. Of course, naturally, uh, but I won't let vices define me. I could also do that and keep, for instance, the, uh, let me see here. It's really hard to focus on it. That's maidservant, that is, uh, that's seducer. I already have plus one intrigue and plus 30 sex appeal. This will go away if I choose any of these options. Now, if you want to keep that and perhaps go, for instance, I don't know, brilliant strategist, you can just leave it all out. Just like I have, for instance, uh, I think another modifier here, religious studies. That was because for a moment there, and add up the strategy, because I had both the war focus as well as the religion in focus, and they still apply to me despite not finishing this path, but of course, we have seduced now so many women, and yes, we are a really, really bad. We are a hedonist, but um, I don't know, man. I'm going to go with the master of seduction. The master seducer, that is who I am. Moreover, I have moved my army northwards. Why am I moving my army northwards? Well, I hope to attack this man, uh, Sunish. Let me put it that way. Oh my, that is a really bad person to get decadent. Didn't we already straighten you up once? Hmm, not sure. Uh, let's choose a good uh, thing that we have. Let's use Intrigue. After all, he is the son of the king of Bulgaria. Locking him up will not be considered very good by the uh, king of Bulgaria. So Chandux has turned uh, Sunni. Chandux. Not sure where that lies, to be honest. Wow, my computer is... Now it picks it up. Bialik of Chandak. Oh, Crete! How perfect! How excellent! Very good. So I want to station my army here. Well, because we want Crimea. We want this border guard to be gone. Push in a little bit. And, uh, well, I would attack Genoa for a holy war for these areas if they did not border the Holy Roman Empire, who is currently, well, not really occupied. Hide, I wanted to say, but all of a sudden, I see a very interesting warrior defending against King Arthur the Quarrel in the English Holy Roman Anti Papal War. Attackers are King of England and the King of Scotland. Scotland does not have the protection anymore of the Holy Roman Empire because he is at war with him. We could declare a holy war for Jerusalem. We're going to do this. We are going to attack for Jerusalem. Hmm? That sounds to me like a very good idea. Let's get Jerusalem back. Screw Crimea. Screw that. We're going to go for this land. And we are going to call in allies. Definitely. This is a holy war for Jerusalem, man. You have to accept this call to arms. Uh, the Marinid Sultanate, we shall leave. The Hasfzit is decently nearby. We'll also call them in. We need this. We need this back. Jerusalem is ours. It should be rightfully ours. We are going to launch a massive, massive war. 
You can bet your hiney. This is going to be a... Uh, sorry, somewhat slow, I will have to admit, because... Yowza. We need to be very... Precise about what we're doing here. And this man has not yet any troops he could lend to us. Um... Sorry that this is going to be a little bit of a slow entry. After all, we have here... Need to push in every people up here. And I don't think that anti-paper war started long ago. So I assume there will be heavy resistance within the lands of Jerusalem themselves. So that is why I am bringing everything. And these forts in Jerusalem are well, well developed. So you can expect there a heavy... That we need quite some troops in order to even make a dent, so to speak. Or even have the ability to siege down. So we're going to have to be aware of that. Mm. Uh, you're not a coastal province. We need you on a coastal province with your troops. Which is, by the way, the, uh, well, a little bit unrealistic thing of CK2. If you want the troops of a duke, you can call these troops anywhere you want within his realm. So, um, for instance, I could uh, call up the man of Bulgaria over here, and now standing in the capital. That's their standard place I could call up. And I said, no, I want them in Constantine. Voila, they're now in Constantine now. Uh, I think I've already said to these boats that they should leave. Yes, so let's not, so that they can get on the boats. And these boats can also go away. We want them over here. And then these boats will go there, and these boats will go there. And I think then I have enough capability to pick up my retina. Oh. Scotland. Will rue the day that they took Jerusalem away from the Muslims. He's definitely going to get help. Most likely from England. Because, well, they're already allied in a war. But luckily Scotland doesn't border many other Catholic nations. So I assume I will only have to deal with England. We're even going to call in our own ships. We're, we are doing this. This is a thing that we are doing. Oh. Yowza. I perhaps should have cut away from all this uh, stuff. And uh, come back when I add everybody on the transport. Because this is a, well, not a very interesting thing to watch, I'm afraid. And then again, I also don't have, for instance, this short key uh, mod from Arumba. Which would have helped a little bit in here for embarking, but... Mm, it is more for um, creating a vassal, for instance, that it's very nice. And to be honest, I'm not a generally a shortcut key kind of man. Uh, any game, even with real-time strategy, I'm just not a short... And I rarely play those, I have to admit. But I just rarely use shortcut keys, which gives me a definite disadvantage. But for some reason, my brain just goes, Duh, which button do I press? And then I, I, I fail. Just as much as if I would be using the, um, or I better say, uh, if I would not be using them. Because then I just keep more overview for myself. Uh, you, we will not call up there. Um, we will take away a province of your time. I think we've now called in every um, boat and thing of a jigger that we can. Alright, let's continue on. As the Ottomans sail to war. Now let's get a little bit of an over overview. Yes, the Bari Sultanate agrees and is coming to our aid. Now, I don't think the Bari do a lot because they still have a revolt on their hands, I think. Or is this not a revolt of the Bari Sultanate? I'm not really sure. Oh well, we'll have to see. It is not really like a... Four and foremost on my mind. In general, I just want to take down Scotland, take back Jerusalem, and then perhaps 
seeing it is 1412, I think Jerusalem contains uh, four duchies. So we could possibly take back all of it. This is one duchy, this is one duchy. Yep, indeed four duchies and we're going already for one. I'm not sure if we can get everything in time back, but we might get a lot. Oh, looky here. These fortresses are of the king himself. Nice and empty. Very good. Uh, although this is not of the duchy that we're actually going for. That is unfortunate. But nonetheless. And as can be expected... Oh, I lost 30 prestige. He managed to dissuade the mob from attacking his stuff. Um, 14,000 on Tyrus. Thank you very much. And we need the other ships. To bring in more able-bodied men. Um, by the way, I do not want to lead an army right now. Perhaps later I need to, but for now let's not. There are so many boats here that I'm not sure if which boats are empty and what I can do with a boat. So. Uh, There are definitely a lot of mm, Ottoman troops moving in. These boats we can return. Alright. Unite all these boats. This is too large an army to set down. I think I just select all of them. Yeah, I can also move there. Alright, so this should do it. We have some moving in here and some moving into uh, Java. And luckily this was all pretty recently conquered so they don't have like very big uh, um, garrisons just yet. Um, seeing this is the Dutch we're actually going for, I want to put more men in here. Um, 13,000. That is doable for this army. And we'll put down this fleet. In fact, it's time to put down the fleet in general because they will cost a lot of money. Oh, these troops never moved. And now I notice also that... Hold on. We'll keep a fleet out, don't get me wrong, but we're only going to keep legion levies, of course, not our own fleet. But with a legion levy fleet, we will have... We, as, uh, well, the Emperor do not need to pay for our own boats. Whereas we have some boats in order to move around troops should we need, we uh, help out in a battle on the coast. Um... 460 ships, that would be fine. I want you to pick up um, these troops. Because we are not holding back anything in this war. The Ottomans are landing everything they've got. In order to take back Jerusalem. And then these 2,000 men are going to go and help here. Simply because it's a low fort. We should be pretty... Um, quick to make short work of it. And that would at least give us some war score simply for holding some terrain. Yes, it's not in the right province, I know, but it will be worth it, I think, nonetheless. I wouldn't advise this in general, though. In general, you really want to go for the war goal, but... Um, yeah. How well is this guard? Because this is already fully garrisoned. Hmm, but he doesn't have a lot of martial skill. Ooh, we have 10 to 1 ratio here, but... I'm gonna split this force up. 
In order to soon prevent attrition, we're going to walk all the way over here. Form this into one army. Very good. And these 3,000 men are going to coast over there. And you people are also going to aid this army that will siege the last province of the Duchy of Jerusalem. Oh well, that was unexpected turn of events. I totally forgot this army. I am a dum-dum. Luckily we have not totally, totally forgotten it. As in, we can still uh, make use of it. Perhaps we will leave my retinue at home, actually. After all, that would probably be enough just to attack Crimea if we... If this war would last as long that Crimea... Well, our truce with Crimea would end. Ooh! Ah, she has also become Turkish. Or also, uh, she has become Turkish, what am I saying? <laughs> Not that I really matter that my niece over there is Turkish or not. Um, are you guys moving? I can't really see. Yeah, I think there's a little arrow beneath these 3000. And now I'm still in an army, but whatever. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. That was not a uh, very good Jim, James Carey voice. Jim Carey. James Carey. Jim Carey. Alrighty then. Tundura, that detective. And we have brought more men. And we need about, um, poof, what would it be, 150 ships in order to move something. Where is my Grand Visor? Why does this king all of a sudden hate me? Oh, that's the king of Serbia, I already understand. Because I once took away a lot of his titles in order to make everything correct. And then I gave him a kingdom. And for some reason, the positive, the fact that I gave him a kingdom, lasts shorter than the negative. He would not have this amount of power if I did not give it to him. But, you know what? Talk to yourself. Consider that a little bit. And he wants to go for one of my titles. We have an adventurer fret. Do we have any intrigue going on currently? No, we do not. We have more than enough plot power to kill this man. Oh. How many men can we support over here? 13.1. We are on, we have 96 men too many, and that is causing uh, attrition. Thank you. Let's hope that isn't time before attrition ticks, because it's 15% attrition despite only having 10 men too many. Yep, luckily just in time. Alrighty then. Uh, is Ascalon? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stay in Ascalon. Time to siege! I wonder if Scotland is even going to defend his new Jerusalem lands. But the revolt of Bari is at least over, so there are 10,000 extra men over here that could help us. Of the Bari Sultanate, so that's really good. Yeah, I think we're going to liberate Jerusalem. Get ourselves a little enclave here. And it's all thanks to that, the fact that we got Cyprus that we could immediately attack for Jeru the Duchy of Jerusalem. Ah, uh, does that not feel good? Oh no, come on my son, I have already told you twice not to be decadent, I think. <sighs> well, we're going to get a lot of decadence while my son is decadent and we can't do anything about it. But... We will lose a lot of decadence, 10% from just doing this war. So it it, it should be fine. Um, oh, I'm Roth as well. Well, then that kid shows spirit. Yeah. It will be... Let me hear. We gain two piety per month. 
so 2.7 and we need 20 so about 15 months um you are a disgrace and a coward uh so we need we'll get the point six seven about ten percent so we should be at twelve percent before we can end it D did i get that correctly my calculations might be hmm oh dear well i'm not considered a kinslayer Probably because I am Muslim or something, or he was not under my control, I do not know. Okay, this is ridiculous game, this is really ridiculous. I already asked this man twice, I know this for certain, twice not to be decadent. This is utter silliness. Ugh. Well, at least the adventure has been dealt with. Hmm. I am not enjoying that, in the least. Um, you be, can be educated by this man. I don't know why he hates me, but he hates me for some reason. Oh, it's the opposite school and the Muslim stuff. Please don't stand on my face, you will cause us both attrition. That would be really, really bad if you did that. Oh, known plots. I will have to work this off camera and, uh, well, I need to see what I can do. Because all of a sudden, of course, people that I've straightened up already have been... Get decadent once again, which is really, really some silly. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.